Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, hey girl, what's up, what's going on? And if you are new, hey, my name is Mimi. So glad you decided to click on this video. So um, for today's video, we're going to be talking all about the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I haven't reviewed a Huda Beauty Palette in quite some time and i don't know i just haven't been feeling her releases i have to say like just to be honest but when i saw this palette i thought it was so cute so that's why i decided to get it you guys i'm not gonna lie like because i don't buy huda beauty products very often seriously like i totally forget how expensive her palettes are like they're basically $70. They did do some type of side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna put it the picture up somewhat along this video, but they did like a side-by-side -side comparison of like all the other palettes that she has and it's very much different from her other palettes that she's released. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. So here is how the front of the palette looks. Oh my God, loving the marble. I have to admit, I am so happy they scrapped that whole putting her eyes on the packaging and all that. So happy they scrapped that. I didn't care. Like, honestly, I don't care for people's faces on packaging. Like, I just don't, I just don't care for it. It gives me very narcissist vibes. <laughs> oh my God, these colors, these colors are gorgeous. I'm not going to even cap. I don't even want to touch it. These colors in this palette are so, so bored. All right, guys. So there is the palette. Hopefully, you guys can see those colors really, really good. So in this palette, you're going to get metallics, mattes, and shimmer finishes, which is pretty much the same trend as she always does with all her other palettes. Now, she does have this color called Love Stone in here. It's one of those shades that you have to touch like this jelly textured formula in here and then when you mix it together it creates the color so i also purchased the huda beauty silk balm rose quartz this is an illuminating lip balm it's also supposed to have like a rose quartz powder in there which i thought was really like ooh, you know so that's why i decided to pick it up she's calling this color love stone so i did get that all right guys so this is how the lip balm looks it's a, actually a really pretty color it's definitely like a rosy quartz tone type of lip balm and it does have a little bit of shimmer in there so with her lip balm it does also have a hyaluronic acid in it and it's also going to help with plumping and like hydrating and conditioning my lips which is something i'm definitely going to need especially with these winter months coming ahead i really like how this looks on my lips it's like the shimmer is not very very prominent it's just enough it really just gives my lips this like gem like gleam which i really love it's just like i know i have on something but it's just something that's a little bit extra you know so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna swatch them row by row all right guys so this is how the first row of shadows look really nice the texture of the shadows overall are all right they're not i like the texture of the mattes the shimmers and the metallics are all right they're okay i don't feel like they're the best i've ever had and i think that's the thing about me and huda beauty i feel like with the price point of these palettes I have a certain expectation for her eyeshadows. All right, guys, so this is how the second row of eyeshadows look. Let me tell you, I am so impressed with these two shades at the top, which are Precious and Energized. Like, those swatch, like, so effortlessly. Definitely love those. All right, so here is the last row of shadows. These are bomb. Okay, that third row really just showed out. All right, guys, so on to the fun part, which is actually applying these shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with a little bit of concealer today because I'm just being lazy. So I'm gonna start with this color here called Gratitude. Just tap that. I love to do my makeup looking down because I'm able to get a clear view of my entire lid.
it's like not any patchiness or anything like that so that's definitely a plus when something blends out really nicely and just so you guys know i will list everything else that i have on on my skin i'll list that down in the description box for you guys i'm gonna switch to something a little bit more smaller and sharper what do i want to do what do i want to do what do i want to do all right so i think i'm gonna go for this color called happiness which is right here Now I think I am gonna go in with Aura, which is this brown shade right here. I'm gonna go in with that one, and I'm gonna focus that in my outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply those same three shades to my bottom lash line. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I like it. It's like a soft, like, purple um, rose tone. Okay, I'm going to go for Blissful. And Blissful is more like a, like, it's not like a, it's more like a metallic shade that you just kind of, like, dab on. Like that. Oh, this is cute. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over and use another shade called Moon Magic. And kinda just dab that, like in the beginning, like in my inner tear duct basically, like in there like that. Oh, this is cute. I really love that. Oh, I really love this. Okay, so. This is the look that I came up with for my eyes. Really, really love this look. Wait, I gotta take a sip of coffee. <laughs> okay, yeah, so really, really love this look so far. Of course, you guys, I'm not gonna do anything on my lips. I'm literally just going to, what did I do with that lip balm? I literally just had it. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna, add any lipstick or anything because I like the way I do like the way this lip balm looks so I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra okay so I'm gonna go ahead add some liner add some mascara and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts about this rose quartz palette from Huda Beauty all right guys so we are back and this is the final look like i said all i did was add mascara and liner that was it nothing else special and i just put some mario badescu refreshing mist on like just to make my eyeshadow settle into my skin so in all honesty would i make recommend the rose quartz palette I would and honestly this is the best time to think about getting some of those items that you usually wouldn't purchase because the Sephora VIB sale is coming up. I love the color story of this palette and I overall love how my look came out. It's, I love the color Cosmic Love and Magic Moon. They're very soft like iridescent type of eyeshadows. As far as like the blendability of the shades, the shades blend out fairly well. I definitely will say that. But you will have to build on these shades a little bit. So yeah you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review on the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.